Uh, Mateusz Morawiecki, uh, welcome to GB News. Um, tell me your reaction to the actions of Donald Tusk uh, with regard to the National Broadcasting Channel. Good morning and thanks for having me. Well, first of all, in, in Poland, there is a radical violation of uh, the law in, as well as... Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. There is a radical violation of the law as well as violent aggression um, against public media. And uh, all governments uh, could do this uh, with uh, applying appropriate uh, parliamentary proceedings. Um, there is a very clear legislative path through which uh, Donald Tusk and his new government could, could have done this. Instead of this, they have chosen uh, to use force, to use police, to uh, liquidate public media. And they have actually deprived people, they have denied uh, access to um, uh, media channel, to, to news channel for millions of people. Last time when things like this happened, it was during the martial law in 1989, 1981. I remember this time very well. Uh, and, and only um, uh, 42 years later, it happened again. So lots of people are very much surprised with this uh, aggressive uh, stance, aggressive um, violation of law by Donald Tusk. Uh, Mateusz, people in this country are certainly very surprised. I mean, if we saw a government, you know, closing down the BBC, we would be astonished. Just tell me, what does this tell us about the state of institutions in Poland? What does it tell us about the, the state of uh, democracy in Poland? You have now been a member of the European Union for a good long time. But some of these scenes are surprising us and dismaying us very much. When I was prime minister, every day Poles could um, watch at least three uh, TV channels, and they could uh, form their opinion based on three different TV channels. Um, you need to know that most of the private media in Poland are actually biased towards uh, liberal left um, part of the political scene, and, and this is uh, euphemistically said. Um, and also before 2015, uh, public television was under Tusk government, um, very much biased as well. So uh, the, the fact of the matter was that uh, the public media presented a different, different point of view, and this is what democracy is, is about. Right now, uh, the new government, uh, um, which is um, uh, formed by several parties, predominantly leftist and, and liberal parties, is trying to uh, monopolize uh, media uh, altogether, because uh, including um, the uh, public media into the, um, uh, the, the same pot of media as, uh, as they have been, um, uh, they have been uh, presenting last couple of years, uh, is, is, is really depriving people of different points of view. And this is why um, many people in Poland are very much um, against it, are very much um, um, worried about what is going on in, in, the, in the sphere of, of media. Um, according to opinion polls, um, a majority of the population was concerned about the bias towards your party that was observed in the state broadcasting channel. I just wonder, should there not be an assumption that the state broadcaster is uh, neutral and balanced? Uh, we try to do this in this country. Of course, it's a subject of constant debate as to whether the BBC achieves that. But at least it is understood that the objective of the state broadcaster is to be uh, balanced. Can that not be achieved in Poland? The word, the word balanced is, is critically important, Michael. This is why... Uh, you know, in the in the previous eight years, um, uh, the public television was presenting a different point of view than uh, 70 or 80 percent of the media in Poland, and this is called balanced uh, approach. Uh, 
I'm not saying public media was um, uh, perfect, uh, far from it, but it was uh, at least presenting a different or sometimes completely different point of view than majority of liberal leftist media, uh, which are uh, dominant in Poland. So if you want to have a balance and all Democrats should, should um, uh, desire such a state, um, you would want to see different points of view. And right now, after this recent violation of law and radical attack on public media, you will have only one point of view. And this is clearly seen already through the uh, public media um, governed by uh, Tusk. What, what about the reputational point here for Poland? I mean, for the moment, Poland is attracting a great deal of global attention over this matter. But this, is this really the sort of thing for which you want Poland to receive attention? The, the, the shutting down of the state broadcasting channel, is that the sort of advertisement that Poland wants to send out? It's a, it's a very bad development of, of matters, and I, I regret it. Uh, I regret also to emphasize that this is uh, similar to what Lukashenko uh, and Putin uh, are doing. They want to monopolize um, their uh, access to information. Uh, of course, uh, I, want, I, I don't want Poland to be, um, you know, um, uh, discussed by the others uh, from the point of view of violation of uh, law and um, breaching uh, constitution, uh, which clearly Tusk government is doing. This is also why we are not complaining to international institutions at all. We, we want the public opinion in other countries to be aware of um, what is going on in, in my country. But uh, in, as opposite to what um, the current government was doing while in opposition several years ago, we are not complaining to the European Commission, to the European Court of Justice, or other institutional um, uh, bodies, because what is happening in Poland should be dealt with, that dealt with in Poland. This is my view. You, you might remember, Michael, uh, the Article 7, rule of law, and so on. And I was, um, uh, I was, uh, it was appalling that uh, Civic Platform under Tusk was complaining and voting against Poland was complaining to the European Parliament and was vo voting uh, to, uh, in favor of imposing sanctions on Poland. We are not doing the, these things. We, we call for protests, and, and on the 11th of January, there will be protests on the streets of Warsaw, uh, because many people, uh, also not supporting Law and Justice Party, are appalled with what is going on in, in Poland right now around public media. Uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us, Mateusz Morawiecki, who was until very recently Prime Minister of Poland before being replaced by Donald Tusk.